Hey Branchers, I'm Angela. Today is a special tutorial. I want to show you how you can create your own art gallery. If you want to know more about this, know all the steps and how you can do this, you're here with me and let's start. <laughs> now we're here in the home page of Coverage. Some steps that we have to follow to create our own art gallery. Don't worry about it, I'm going to show you every single step so you can create it and have an amazing time and share it with all your friends and people can know more about your art. To this option that is a create your webinar or classroom, I'm going to click here, get started. I'm going to name my webinar, in this case, my gallery, you know? Perfect. Next. When it's going to happen, you can put in a specific time and you can put it now. It depends up to you. So we're going to click now. For how long? Well, maybe you want to have lifetime. You can change it later. In this case, I'm going to choose one hour, but like I say here, you can change it later. So it's no problem about that. See, here, would you like to add secret key to secure extra security? This is up to you too. If you want some people just enter to your gallery where you just can have a extra security that is a key that you can share to them. But if you want it's a public gallery, you just can click here, no email reg registrations you can click yes so all the people can register to your art gallery and all your and all their emails are going to get to your email so if you find you just put the name and enter just put no we click no perfect now i have to choose my room layout so let me see say large circles it depends up to you how you want your your room about your gallery because some of them have the extra large circles large circles so i'm going to choose another one let's see the one that is the normal circles and create perfect yeah they even is successfully created now i click check those my art gallery is this message this pop-up they say that the event will start in this hour so don't worry about it after this hour this pop-up don't going to come people won't see it okay so you just click here check in to create my art gallery two steps where we're going to begin and I'm going we're going to do this together so don't worry about it so let's start I'm going to change my background yes I want to change this so I'm going to go here at uh, this room, background editor, click background. Perfect. I have to load my background. I to go here. Perfect. I'm going to choose this background. Amazing. I'm going to change here my camera height because I have a good resolution. This this one. 697. I say alright. There we go, circles to and change the color if I want to. So maybe I'm just going to leave here. Uh, these ones are good. I'm going to erase these circles. I can do, I can move everything, change everything what I want. I'm going to change the circles color. my background but I want to do something else I'm going to show you this amazing feature that I know you're going to like it and to M a Instagram post so people can go to your Instagram can like your picture comment your pictures and follow you on Instagram just for being here in this room so I go here every audio video and more I click here to share in this case I want to share this post I copy my link from the post, I paste it here. Don't click OK yet, OK? We're going to do this. You have to copy this code. We copy this to the beginning. This one is for the beginning. There it goes. You have to copy this one for the ending of the link, all right? So you can have M embed your post I say okay and there it goes now I have to change the size to see it better I can change it the way I want to I want to have it like this I go to place it right here I like how it sees and I'm going to test something I can add text here so let's 
Lucy. Welcome to my this. I click to my test and I click here textile so I can change the text color, the background, and there we go. Perfect. Here, we're going to my art gallery. Move this any place I want to, like you see. If I click on the test, so I'm going to place it right here. So remember always to click save because if not, you're going to lose everything that you did. So in this case, I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to click to select my seat. Here I am. Maybe the name of your room. No problem about that. We're going here, this room, edit daytime and layout. We click here on the session name, so I'm going to write here Welcome Ghost. You see here the time maybe pass, but don't worry about that. If you want to have the time like like to change the time to the present, you can do this. You just click here group activity. Like you see the time change and click here again webinar or classroom. You can say it's private or public like I told you and you can have a, your secret key that you only can share with the people that you want to enter to your gallery. But if you want the gallery public, don't worry, so just keep, just leave it like this. Update. So just here, welcome to my gallery, welcome to my art gallery. You have now here, you can click here, people can click from here, from this post, here in your art room. Take the post, comment, share, they can go to your profile too. They can go and see your profile, just clicking here, so it's really, really amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Create another art room. We're going here and create again another room. We're going to do the same steps that I did in the beginning. So I'm going to create two more rooms and then I'm going to show you how it looks. All right, let's go. This room ready so I want to begin to place my adware or a picture or something that I did this option add image you click here you upload your image and in this time I'm going to place this one perfect size you can change the size like I said like this this is perfect where you want people sit in your room so we can place it right here is art from you so in this case is from from the Instagram of GoBrunch <laughs> save here perfect there we go art room with my background my art and the seat like I wanted how I place the circles and everything now how I can do to people go to from the from here to here so here this room we go again background editor to add here add navigation I'm going to click here add navigation he say click to the link perfect I can say he say you can paste here your room your room link or you can choose one from here so I have to go there it goes here is our room one if you scroll down to the end you will find the room that you did your last room so I click here Okay, okay, going to take me to the art room one. Amazing, right? I'm going to save this. Now people, when they enter here, they can click here to art room one. I click here, and we are here in the art room one. Perfect, right? So I'm going to do another room where you can see how everything can see with the art navigations and the backgrounds and everything. Wait, before I begin to create my last room, I'm going to show you this that's really helpful for you creating more rooms. You want to create 10 rooms, 50 rooms, I don't know, maybe too much more. So don't to not be creating one room from one room, you can do this. I have here my webinars. You can view here your webinars or will appear here. Scroll down and you will see in your home page. Here my art gallery, welcome to my gallery in art room one. Room one. So I wanna do my art room two. What I do if I wanna do more rooms and don't be like making one and one from the beginning. Don't worry about that. I'm going to show you this little tip. 
you're going to click here a clone in this room at room one then we are room copy click here and now you see that you have the same room duplicate so what i do here i click edit in the last one update event i'm going to click here at room two at room two update event and now we click here in the app room to to edit everything it my last room and then i'm going to show you how everything sees okay so i see you in a second let's go <laughs> have all the gallery done with three art rooms we have here the welcome to my gallery and we can go from here we can go into art room one so people can see the other places that you have another rooms that you are in your gallery so here is art room one we have all what we did and now room two let's go Just a little bit there it goes now here I am in the art room too. You can create your own gallery, people can see your artworks, place more than one artwork in one room like you see I place here two, two pictures. So you can do the same, you can organize the circles, your background, how you can go into link the, your art navigation, where you want to link your art navigation to. And we hear it we here again in the first room. This brochure, this is the way that you can create your own art gallery. This way is so amazing if you like to draw, you like art, or if you want to share something that you would like about art, or about whatever you would like, maybe for video games too, you know? So you can do this way so people can come and see what you're sharing. Remember, this is not a meeting room. When people come here, they will see just these two options, my view, in all rooms that's all people won't see all the options that I'm seeing right now on that maybe that you will see when you are doing your your gallery and like I say share your artworks and share what you like with your friends and maybe your fans too thing really important is right now the editor is not for mobiles devices all right this one from here is just right now just for computer laptops from your browser but in the computer I want to see your arts too I want to see that you create your own gallery have this way that you can create your art and share with all your people your followers and people can share it too so in this place you can have like all your art organized like more visibility you can have commissions opens here you can sell art so yeah this is an amazing way that you can be known from another people and share what you like and what you do so yeah i hope you like this video remember to comment like subscribe and share with your friends too <laughs> see you later brunchers bye <laughs>